John and Ken Show. John Cobell and Ken Shampo, KFI AM640. After 3 o'clock, we're going to talk uh, to Aaron Katursky, ABC News, about the uh, Belgian bombings. Uh, there's a lot of Belgian bombing news, and none of it good. A lot of uh, Belgian uh, incompetence. And uh, there's also a report that ISIS has sent 400 terrorists to go uh, storming through Europe, blowing things up. Yeah, that seems to be the new tactic. They want to take the war away from the Middle East and into Europe to keep everybody busy there so they don't get as involved in what they're doing so, in Syria and other places in Iraq. This anyway. is uh, going to be a fun year. Yeah. That was another great story, too, you got to hear next hour. NBC News got a hold of a, ca- a cable, like a real old-fashioned cable. Yeah, the spies it- still uh, transmit cables to each other. Do they really? Yeah. By Pony Express? <laughs> No, no, those old machines. Yeah, I know those old yeah. the little ding, 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 click, click, click. Yeah, I shouldn't laugh. When we started in radio, we had one at the when whenever the Associated Press sent out like an emergency well, bulletin. Oh, a ding, 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 ding. ding, ding. Yeah, yeah. here comes somebody, the breaking news. Means somebody got shot. Uh, five sometimes. dings. I remember the first day I worked at a newspaper. Uh, they told me five dings means a president got shot. That's it. They only have it for five. They only have well, five there dings was, for there that. Was a, there was a ding, or there was a ding, ding, or a ding, 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 or four dings, or five dings. And if you heard oh, all the dings, so five dings was the top of the. Five dings was the top of the. A five uh, dinger story. Did you ever hear yeah. one? Yeah. yeah. Did Did it ever ring? No. Well, Reagan got shot, but you weren't. No. Did I you mean, get the dings for that? Well, I wasn't, he wasn't there. I wasn't he was there. on radio. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. No, when Reagan got shot, I was at the newspaper, but it happened during the day. Oh, the newspaper you were talking. Yeah, about. Yeah. 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 Oh God. But it happened during the day. That's when you're doing your wrestling stories at night. That's right. Was... <laughs> the little sports reporter covering right. boys on the mat. Co- covering, uh, you know, yeah, that's, that's right. I was covering sweaty young men on the mat. Uh, oh, a listener sent this for your enjoyment, John Cobelt. Poland has shut down the possibility of accepting any new migrants in response to the terror attacks in Brussels. Yeah, yesterday. see, the Polish are pretty smart. The prime minister's name is, get out of here, Bita? B e a t a? Would you pronounce that Beta? Yeah, I I I can't vouch. And the for that. last name again? The la- well, the last name does have two vowels, but they're at the end. S z y d i o. Oh no, it's an L. S z y d l o. Sidlo? How would you pronounce? Shid uh, Shidwo. 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 <laughs> you guys have your own language. I, yeah. yeah. I a- say very clearly, I see no possibility for migrants to arrive in Poland at this time. By the way, that's the prime minister, Bita. Um, it's a woman. We have a woman, a woman prime minister in oh, Poland. Yeah. Yeah, it's very uh, advanced. Um, it says here that any deal that Poland had with the EU to resettle a certain number of migrants is now off the table. The speech by uh, Bita, the prime minister said, the attackers made a mockery of the agreement. The country is no longer willing to work to unburden other EU countries overwhelmed with the flood of migrants. And as you know, Germany's taken on a million of them this year. Why would you participate in that? She says it's time to Uh. bang a fist on the table and say enough of terrorism. You want to read this because you're Polish? (laughs) Our countries and our children and countries are in danger of beginning to be afraid. Europe mustn't be afraid. We must say enough. What do you think of that? Uh, They're smart people in Poland. What? They, 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 they're... Ding, 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 ding. No, they <laughs> look at the decision they're making. That would be breaking news. Look at the dumbass uh, Germans taking in a million uh, refugees. I know. And what, what's the first thing that happened? They had a New Year's Eve rape fest in Cologne. Yeah, that tells All right? the story. That, uh, look what's going on in Belgium and, and, and France. It's like, no, don't do that. Right. Well, why would you invite in all that chaos, all that violence, all that, all that uh, you know, there, there's terrorists in the, in the refugee stream. ISIS said so. I believe them. They tell us what they do, and they tell us what they're going to do, and we still go, oh, no, I don't think that's going to happen. It's like, you know, this is a moment where where you really, this is Darwinism now. We're going to see if we're smart enough to survive or if we're stupid enough to die. <laughs> this is this is a real test, a fork in the road for Western civilization. Yeah, I was kind of looking at the map to see, uh, obviously Poland's right next to Germany. Yeah. But I was trying to see if Poland... Well, I haven't heard a lot of stories about Poland. Well, maybe the, maybe the migrants don't want to go to Poland. <laughs> well, <laughs> That'd no. be funny if the, if the Syrians said, well, we didn't want to go there anyway. They didn't have to because the Germans rolled out uh, yeah, the Germans, a welcome to a million of yeah, them. Germany was supposed to be where the pot of gold is, but that story we did a couple of weeks ago, some of them are leaving now. 
that they're, they're not accepted there. They're not finding jobs. They and thought, it's not, uh, and what, what, some of them thought they were going to get a house or something? They thought they were getting a free home, <laughs> like a really nice home and an Obama phone. That's what they thought. Where, I didn't hear that part. Oh, Obama yeah. Phone? They thought, yeah, those free Obama phones. Remember those? They were going to get them in, they were gonna in get Europe, them in Germany? In Germany is part of the deal. You get a free house and an Obama phone. Does it look like Obama? Why is it an Obama phone? Well, because Obama had this, had this uh, phone deal. They were, they were handing out these free government phones to poor people, so, oh. and they started calling them Obama phones. Oh, I, I missed that story. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was, it was, uh, it was, a, it was pretty funny. Oh. It, I, I, I don't remember where it happened. It was some government uh, free phone project for poor people. Yeah, governments do have those. I think yeah. the state of California does something like yeah, that. Yeah, somehow they got, somebody called it Obama phones. And or it, or it in stuck. California, it's my favorite. If, if you hear those PSAs, basically the, the, the ad says, if you can't hear, you can't speak. You can't move. Oh, we got a phone for you. I'm like, well, what good is the phone going to do if you can't hear and you can't speak? And you can't move. You can't dial it. <laughs> All right, Aaron Katursky in Brussels, Belgium, uh, next with the latest on the terror attacks. John and Ken show.